Good morning, YouTube. Wake up, sleepy people. Hope everything is off to a fine start at your house this morning. This morning it is chilly. For the day before Good Friday. It is really chilly. It's our last little snap before Easter. Um, well, I'm going over to a lady's house this morning, here it is in April just before Easter she sends me a text telling me she's got a mess in her garage where her lawnmower is leaking well she's blaming it on me I was out there last June service her lawnmower. She's blaming it on me. So we're going to go out here and she's like, I sure hate that your, your work is like this. And I, I'll show you the text. And it just really took me off. So I am actually going to be in her neighborhood today. And I was yesterday, too. But today, I knew that I could be far enough ahead. In yesterday's work, that I could spare a few minutes today. So I'm actually leaving early, showing up at her place early. And, uh... Um, to uh, assess the situation. She first told me that the parts that I bought, were, could, could they be wrong parts? <laughs> and I reminded her that I did not buy the parts for her lawnmower to be serviced. She bought them. She kind of changed her tune at that point. She's like, I want, uh, okay, well, if you'll come by here and look at it, I'd much rather have you work on it than anyone else. But what really concerns me, if it leaked like this over the wintertime, enough to have her all fired up about having a mess in her garage and or her, her shop building. Uh, well, she checking all in it last summer because if it's leaking like that to make a mess, then it should have been leaking all summer right after I did the work. Not June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March. April, not 10 months later. So, anyway, you just never know with people. So I'm going over here to look at it and see where this leak is at. video from start to finish from before I walk up to it I want to know where it's coming from and I want video documented proof where it's coming from because it's either my fault or it's not my fault maybe my fault I don't know things happen on my side 
to begin with because not only am I working at my pastor's house this week, I've been there yesterday and today, and we'll be going back again either next week or the week after because he's got a lot of stuff that's just broke. I don't know what the deal is. But, uh, anyway, and he just lives three or four or five miles from there, so I mean, it's like a blessing. I ain't got to spend no extra money to go by out there and check this thing over. All it's doing is costing me a little bit of time and a little bit of pride. But I have pride enough in my work to stand behind it. Hey, if, you, if this video helps you any at all, reach a prayer and hit the subscribe button. Like this video. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know where you're from. Comments, comments, comments. Please leave me comments. I don't care. If it's the first time you've been there to visit, even if you're not a subscriber, leave a comment. I need those comments. All right, guys. Remember, all things are possible to cry.
and it's left a little spot. Hmm. And so I'm pretty sure by now that I need to put some oil in it. You I haven't checked oil? No. I haven't done anything. You're just a little low, but I mean, it's still in the in the usable range. Yeah, the first time we this it, this filter's tight. This has been bent. What's been bent? Right here. Oh, the seat. Oh, I'm not surprised that those, that those seats taken a beating. So the oil filter's not loose? Mm -mm. No, man. And it's a Kawasaki filter. I didn't take none of this loose right here. What about the um, because I sucked the oil out of it. What about the um oh, how am I trying to say? The other fluid that's in here. Is that oil? <clears throat> Is that oil? You talking about not transmission fluid, but the hydraulic fluid. Remember <coughs> we changed that too. Okay. How long has it been sitting here in this one spot? Since yesterday. Since yesterday? Or day before. Alright, we got a we got a oil fresh oil spot right here. Yeah. It's coming from right here. What is that? That is the fitting off your hydraulic reservoir. Oh. Right there. Reckon that's what leaked out all back here now? I would be willing to bet. That it was? Mm-hmm. Because see, that's all over your shop. I know. It's everywhere. Right here. But I mean, it's all over this shop. That's pretty uh, evident. It's coming from right here. Well, can that be fixed? Uh, I was just fixing to get some cleaner and clean it up. and uh, And we can see. Well, vindication. Vindication. Okay, so it was not anything that I did. She's got, on this mower, it's got a... Uh, It's got a hydraulic reservoir and it's a Ferris lawn mower. Zero time. Continue on to FM 357. And this thing's got a uh, hydraulic reservoir. That's isolated. It's got a return 
line and a feed line. The feed line comes out of the very bottom of the tank. And it looks like it's put on there with a water hose. It's a gray water hose looking thing. Pardon me, with a worm clamp. Clamped onto a brass fitting. The brass fitting is shoved into the tank with a little rubber grommet. Now, I don't know if it's rubber grommet or the hose clamp. I was able to tighten the hose clamp. But they don't do with that rubber grommet except for change it, put a new one on it. Now, one of the first questions I asked, or no, I did not ask it. She offered up this information. She said that she had not checked the oil since I had been out there. That was in June of last year. She has not checked the oil one time. You check the oil on a lawnmower every time you use it. Every time. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. You check the oil. If you don't check the oil, you have nobody but yourself to blame if your engine blows up. In 10 month period of time, if you blow up your engine because it ain't got no oil and it, it's your fault. It ain't nobody else's fault but yours. Um, okay, so it takes a special blend of oil and hydraulics. So I cleaned it up. And we put a paper towel under it to catch any drips that may or may not it was clean, clean, clean paper towel. Put it up underneath there to catch any drips. She's going to check it over the course of the next week before she uh, does her yard again. And then after she does her yard again, she's going to schedule a maintenance with me again in another month or so. So at that time, we'll come out, change her blades, her air filter, her oil filter, her fuel filter, and uh, do an overall maintenance on her lawnmower. Which makes me feel much better because now her confidence level in me has come back. You know, at that time, she was like, I'm going to carry it somewhere else. I'm like, well, before you do, uh, let me check it. I want, and even if you do carry it somewhere else, before you do, I want to check it because I want to know if there was something that I did that was wrong. And, uh, well, you can see me on the video for you. Like and subscribe to this channel like this video, subscribe to this channel, and remember, all things are possible through Christ. Have a great day, and remember, Jesus loves you.